lot of variables into this particular race as we go on to 30 laps to go. Yeah, that was Ella Barnwell of Great Britain just swinging up the track. She's just 22 years old. She's on the Academy program. Had a good national championships about two weeks ago. They had the national championships in Newport. I think she got a gold and a silver there, team pursuit and individual pursuits, but riding the scratch race here. Still waiting for our first move, our first attack. There's La Rata of Spain. That is just trying to save energy here. Kukpuni now in the Navy, reigning European champion. Not wearing that jersey, given the fact that her jersey is up for grabs here. She's had a very short, admittedly short period in the European champion's jersey as Stenberg. Yeah, so very, t very small um, time when they're between these two European championships, but still it was a very well-deserved win and I'm sure she's very much enjoyed being in that jersey. But yeah, now is the time to try and defend it. But we have such a strong field here, so many big names, so many runners looking towards Paris that have come here to these European championships, trying to get some early points in the bag. Scratch as you said, not an Olympic event, but still really prestigious event to try and win at these championships. Sharp in the green, 24 laps to go now, five minutes into this race. As each lap, 250 metres, and the 40 laps take us to 10 kilometres. Yeah, no attacks so far. It's always quite a nervous event, the first bunch race of a championship. No one's ever quite sure how their legs feel. You want to see how the track's running. It's always very different on race day compared to the few days you have in training before the competition. A lot we of runners will be thinking records. about countering an attack and they can't counter-attack until somebody else attacks. So it's nervous moments until that first attack goes. Sorry, you were saying about the hour record, Rob. No, just saying the hour records, of course, this is a, an yep. historically a, a fast track, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of fast events. Of course, it's more important in the timed events, but the hour records that have been broken here, several of them very recently in Bigham, Ghana, as well as uh, Loud and Fontaine as well, all set in this velodrome. Yeah. Fast track and the fact that we're around 500 metres above sea level as well, a little bit of altitude. Yeah. We're not talking Aguascalientes, but we're, we're getting there. Yeah, it makes a little bit of difference. Halfway through the race, still no moves. Slight increase in pace with five kilometers ridden. A couple of riders just missing turns. And now then, here we go. First move, and it comes from Switzerland. And it's Lina Mitro who makes the move with Alice Sharp on a wheel and a little gap that's being closed now by Pikuljuk of Poland and the human powered health team. Yeah, Alice Sharp of Ireland was straight on that move there, looking really strong. Just see her looking over her shoulder there, just seeing if she still has the Swiss rider with her. She hasn't. She swung up the track, realised it's just her, and she's decided to carry on and commit. Very small gap at the moment. 18 laps to go. Alice Sharp then try to take the chance. Metro of Switzerland not able to hack the pace. And who is going to close this down? Fidanza does a decent turn. It's nice from der Dern and Sharp with her gap brought back. Bit of a split in the peloton here that has to be closed up quickly. Maria Martins is going to try and keep this going for Portugal, though. And the pace certainly is up, even though everybody's coming back together now. Yeah, back together now, but very telling that there was that split. That means a slight lack of concentration from somebody in that bunch or someone not quite having the legs there. So you don't want to find yourself on the wrong side of a split like that because it is all that those little bits of extra work which you could do without. Inside 15 laps to go now. That was our first big move. Szczevichkova at the front now. Fidanza, the world champion, just behind her, Kupuni. And you have Barnwell of Great Britain. And the European Queen from last August in Munich. Stenberg does a very short turn there. Approaching the final two and a half kilometers soon. We've got 13 laps to go when they come through here. And now we've got a next move. It's Eberhardt of Austria. Yeah, so attacking down towards the bottom of the track there, very difficult to get a gap when you aren't using the banking. 
but there are a lot of riders straight on that move there, no one wanting to let any gaps go at this stage of the race. And Saita just making it her presence at the front felt. Kokpuni now. Nothing going and sticking yet. We're approaching three quarters away through this opening endurance event of the European Champions this year. And she's trying again, is Metro. Yeah, she's got the home crowds here. She's enjoying having these applause. She may as well make the most of it at this stage. And this is a bigger move than the last one and a bit of hesitation in the group behind. No one ready to commit to the chase just yet. Nine and a half minutes in, but it's going to get speedy. It's going to get quick now. There's that hesitation continuing. Metro wants to take her chance and she will be riding away to try and do what she can. Now in the chase, you've got Spain there. La Rata there, chasing down and really doing a big turn to do that. And it looks as though it's the Iberian connection because Martins has gone with her. And Maria Martins is a really quick finisher. Yeah, Maria Martins had multiple medals at this level in these sort of events. And she is straight on that move. Second wheel at the moment there for the Portuguese rider. It's all caught and back in the bunch, but it looks as though behind they're going to work together. Nobody wanted to really commit, though, with two kilometers left, just less now. Seven laps to go. It's Martins and La Rate of Portugal and Spain. Yeah, and they're working well together. When you've got just two riders away, it, it's far easier to work well together when you've got a smaller group like that rather than a big string. And you can see the hesitation now behind, mainly above the blue line. Everyone is looking at each other. Pickelik of Poland there were just on the front, just looking around to see who was going to take on the chase. Into the final one and a half kilometers now. Six laps to go, and they've really got to get a budge on behind if they're going to catch these two in the front. It's at that moment where a few more seconds hesitation, and that will be that. Yeah, half a lap now. Ballas, Saito and Lithuania was just coming to the front there, but I don't think anyone else is really keen to commit to this chase. And you can just see these two riders here really committed to working well together at the moment. Four laps to go. It's Spain and Portugal with La Rate of the Basque Country and Martins, the Portuguese, behind. And they're on their way to dueling it out here for the world title. Coming up to three laps to go now. Maria Martins of Portugal, La Rate of Spain. Half a lap of a gap. They remain committed, but have to remain committed now. And behind, Pikuluk and Fidanza start to get going. But they really need to get a move on. This is a tremendous ride by those out the front. They're on their way to fighting it out for the title here, Joe. Two laps. They are. This is a huge move. And I, I think the bunch have left it too late. They're moving now, but it's still half a lap distance. So Martins and La Rate with a brilliant opportunity. They start to catch behind, but the bell is going. They're onto the final lap, and it's one big effort from those two in front who will take it. And here comes Martins, La Rata trying to wait. Martins sprinting away, and Maria Martins is on her way to becoming the European champion here. She knows it. She's celebrating. It's Portugal 1, Spain 2, and Maria Martins is the European champion. Elkene Larate in second place. And although we didn't see the sprint behind, the camera focuses on Micah von der Dern, which suggests she may well have taken bronze. But Mahia Martins takes a European title for Portugal. That will be a hugely popular victory among so many people in the track cycling community. She's had medals before at this level. She was a medalist at the 2020 World Champs in the Scratch Race, medalist at the 2019 European Champs in the Scratch Race. She had medals in the Omnium and the Elimination Race as well. Has never won a title at senior level on the track. So that was absolutely awesome. I'm over the moon for her. Mahia Martins is one of the most enthusiastic riders out there. When she didn't have a team a few years ago on the road, she was going round, giving her CV out. She was desperate to stay doing what she does, and she's done it today is the culmination of that. She's the European champion, with a special ride to Beokene Larate, who seems overcome with emotion too. We were talking about the lack of results for Spain. They've got a podium here. 
brilliant stuff from them as well. Yeah, what a great start for the first medals available at these European Championships. Absolute delight for these riders. Eukene Larrate Artera from the Basque Country brings home silver for Spain. It is Maria Martins, Eukene Larrate, and it's Daria Piculiuk who snuck in ahead of Micah van der Dern in that sprint. Martina Fidanza, the world champion, has to settle for fifth place with a sixth for Britain's Barnwell.